हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज विकास तो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग सम ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट करंट अफेयर्स ऑफ द फर्स्ट वीक ऑफ जनवरी दिस वीडियो इज वेरी हेल्पफुल टू यू सो डू वॉच द वीडियो टिल द एंड सो फ्रेंड्स विल स्टार्ट विद द सेशन बट बिफोर दैट वी हैव समथिंग इंपॉर्टेंट टू टेल यू अबाउट सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव एन ऐप बाय द नेम कैरियर्स क्लाउड्स विच यू कैन गो एंड डाउनलोड यूजिंग द प्ले स्टोर वंस यू हैव डाउनलोडेड इट यू हैव टू लॉग इन विद योर जी मेल आई डी एंड वंस यू आर लॉग इन यू विल बी एबल टू टॉगल बिटवीन द इंडिविजुअल कोर्सेज यू कैन सी वेरियस कोर्सेज ऑफर्ड बाय अर्स इन दो कोर्सेज वी प्रोवाइड यू पी डी एफ्स ऑन डेली बेसिस वीकली बेसिस एज वेल एज मंथली बेसिस ऑन डेली बेसिस वी विल बी प्रोवाइड यू विद ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन क्विजिज डेली अलॉन्ग विद द ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर डे करंट अफेयर्स सिमिलरली द कंपाइल्ड क्विज ऑफ फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन विल बी प्रोवाइडेड टू यू ऑन वीकली बेसिस अलॉन्ग विद द कंपाइल्ड इंपॉर्टेंट करंट अफेयर्स ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर वीक एंड सेम गोज फॉर योर मंथली पी डी एफ दीज कोर्सेज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दे आर हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट एज दे आर प्रिपेयर बाय द वेरियस teachers that help you to prepare as well as to give you the command over that particular subject these course you can share we provide for banking awareness we provide you with multiple questions multiple informations regarding that particular exam not just that we provide you with topic wise current affairs also topics such as apps and web applications important days books and authors national affairs international affairs all right science and tech defense satellites and anything you need to know about the general awareness and current affairs we provide you with that matter so these will be very helpful to you go and check out our courses that are provided on the app if you want to avail the 10% offered by us you can use the code vikas10 and you will be getting a straight 10% discount on the purchase that you make so friends go hurry up and it is an opportunity for all the experience exp aspirants it's an so friends it's an opportunity for all the aspirants to go and avail this offer so friends let's start the first question is you have to name the company that recently collaborated with sbi cards and payment service limited for card tokenization it is to protect card holders data in local and international transactions so it was your paytm company all right to protect card holders data in local and transactions and international transaction paytm recently collaborated with sbi cards all right and this card tokenization facil facility is available only on android nfc near field communication all right nfc is your near field communication so this facility is available on android nfc devices tokenization is the process of replacing the 16 digit payment card number with a unique digital identifier known as token for mobile and online transactions so the correct option here becomes option second paytm if we are talking about sbi cards and payment service limited its headquarters is located in haryana and it is in gurgaon and rama mohan rao amara is the md and ceo sbi cards and payment service limited next question which of the following is are identified as domestic systematically important issuers for 2021 2022 by irdai so it is your life insurance corporation of india general insurance corporation of india and new india assurance they all three are identified as domestic systematically important insurers that is your d s i i s all right then next which bank recently announced to acquire around 10% stake in the, in the india international cleaning clearing corporation that is your i i c c india international clearing corporation so which bank announced to acquire 10% stake in india international clearing corporation it is your state bank of india has option is not given here fourth yeah fourth state bank of india all right will be acquiring 10% stake in iicc that is your india international clearing corporation all right sbi that is state bank of india next cricketer quinton de nock recently announced his retirement from test cricket which country did he represent so remember Quentin De Nock he is a cricketer and he represented South Africa he belongs from South Africa he used to play for 
विच टीम ही यूज टू प्ले फॉर साउथ अफ्रीका रिमेंबर क्विंटन दे नॉक क्विंटन दे कॉक रिमेंबर ही इज अ विकेट कीपर एंड अ बैट्समैन क्वेश्चन कैन बी आर समटाइम्स लाइक ही इज रिलेटेड टू विच पार्ट ऑफ द स्पोर्ट्स इज ही अ बॉलर बैट्समैन और विकेट कीपर सो क्विंटन दे कॉक ही इज अ विकेट कीपर एज वेल एज अ बैट्समैन एंड ही बिलोंग्स टू और ही यूज टू प्ले फॉर साउथ अफ्रीका ऑल राइट एंड ही इज अनाउंस हिज रिटायरमेंट फ्रॉम विच फॉर्म ऑफ क्रिकेट फ्रॉम टेस्ट क्रिकेट टेस्ट फॉर्म ऑफ क्रिकेट ऑल राइट दीज टेस्ट डेज आर द फाइव डे लॉन्ग मैचेस ऑल राइट नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट CSIR. एस आई आर वेर इज द हेड क्वार्टर ऑफ सी एस आई आर सी एस आई आर हेड क्वार्टर इज लोकेटेड इन डेली बट हेड क्वार्टर ऑफ सी एस आई आर एन आई ओ दैट इज योर नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ ऑशनोग्राफी दिस हेड क्वार्टर इज लोकेटेड इन गोवा ऑल राइट सो सी एस आई आर नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ ओशनोग्राफी सेलिब्रेटेड इट्स फिफ्टी सेवेंथ फाउंडेशन डे ऑन फर्स्ट जनवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू वेर इज द हेड क्वार्टर ऑफ सी एस आई आर एन आई ओ लोकेटेड हेड क्वार्टर ऑफ सी एस आई आर एन आई ओ इज लोकेटेड इन डोना पोला इन गोवा इट वॉज द फिफ्टी सेवेंथ फाउंडेशन डे एंड इट वॉज ऑब्जर्व ऑन फर्स्ट जैन Where is the headquarter of General Insurance Corporation of India? Headquarter of GIC. It is located in Mumbai, Maharashtra. Highly important. All right. GIC's headquarter is in Mumbai, Maharashtra. Bhabha Atomic Research. Where is the headquarter of Bhabha Atomic Research Center? It is also located in which state? Maharashtra. Next question. it is asking that department of telecommunications has formed how many task forces under the technology innovation group that is your tig on 6g technology so on 6g technology how many task force were formed by department of technology remember six task forces were formed under this all right six task forces these six task forces here it is saying which includes the task force on international standards this will be headed by who will be heading this task force it will be headed by ng subramanyam all right let me give you a clear answer here uh, six task force what are the six task forces here first is your task force on spectrum policy that will be headed by abhay karandikar next is your task force for multi platform for next generation networks that will be headed by bhaskar ramamurthy ji next is your task force for multidisciplinary innovative solutions and devices that will be uh, chaired by bhardwaj amrutar ji all right these are the six next six are tax task force on multidisciplinary innovative solutions and devices did that will be headed by vijay sohair bhaskar amrutmurthy fourth is your task force on devices fourth one is task force on devices that will be uh, headed by kiran kumar kruchi ji and fifth is your task force for financing research and development ashok kumar tiwari ji and the last is task force on international standards that will be headed by ng subramanian that what it is asked here that the task force or international standards will be headed by whom it will be headed by ng subramanian ji this one is important the sixth one so do take a note of it the task force will target to contribute to the international mobile telecommunication standard for the year 20 30 all right in the development of what tech in the development of 6g technology so six task force divide, uh, developed by department of telecommunication and the task force that was the six task force on the international standards will be headed by ng subramanian next in december the ministry of petroleum and natural gas set up the energy transition all right question is asked this committee it is not complete here this energy transition advisory committee that was headed by whom headed by dash so the ministry of petroleum and natural gas has set up an energy transition advisory committee that is your etac energy transition advisory committee who will be heading or who is the person who is heading this energy transition advisory committee he is 
Tarun Kapoor, who will be heading this advisory committee. So the correct answer becomes here Tarun Kapoor. All right. Then remember the committee tasked a prepare to prepare a step by step for completion transition from fossil fuels to clean energy. As we all know, we are shifting from fossil fuels to clean and renewable sources of energy, and it has been given six months time to prepare and submit the roadmap. So this energy transition advisory committee will be set up by or will be headed by Tarun Kapoor, and they have given. Six months to give a proper roadmap that how can we shift from fossil fuels to clean energy. All right, moving on next. Before that, uh, do remember some important things. Recently, who received the Sahitya Academy Award for the year twenty twenty one? All right, we'll go for that and first of all tell me in the bodo language for khora syao ar himalaya poetry for this poetry that is in bodo language who received the sahitya academy award remember the name very important madai ghai all right received the language uh, received the sahitya academy award for bodo language for khora sagao ar himalaya poetry all right very important do remember this thing then sahitya academy awards were recently announced by which ministry it was announced by the ministry of culture and they were recently announced for 20 languages also do remember this also 20 languages for bodo language was madwai gahai ji all right very important do remember this shifting to the questions next in which city pm narendra modi laid the foundation stone of the major dhyan chand sports university that is to be built at an estimated cost of 700 crore rupees so remember this foundation stone for the major dhyan chand sports university was laid in uttar pradesh and that too in uttar pradesh it was laid in meerut so this will be built at a cost of 7 crore rupees 700 crore rupees in meerut up it will be established at salawa and kaili k a i l i kaili villages of the town in meerut All right, Salawa and Kaili villages of Sardhana town in Meerut. There, just remember Meerut UP and just remember that these two names also Salawa and Kaili. Here, this major Dhyan Chand Sports University will be built. Then, if we are talking about major Dhyan Chand, who is he? He is related to which sport? He is related to hockey. A very famous player. All right, we also know Rajiv Gandhi, Khel Ratan was awarded. Uh, Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratan Award has been changed to what? It was changed to Major Dhyan Chand Khel Ratan Award. All right. So correct option is Meerut UP, where this Major Dhyan Chand Sports University will be built. Next, which company recently launched India's first auto exchange traded fund? So the company that launched India or launched India's first auto exchange traded fund what is the name of the company it is your nippon life india assets management limited all right the asset manager of nippon india mutual fund launch new fund offer for nippon india in fit nifty auto exchange traded funds that is also known as your etf that is exchange traded funds it is india's first auto sector etf so question can be asked where what is the india's first as it is asked here first auto sector exchange traded fund it is your launched by which organization it was launched by the nippon life india asset management limited all right if we are talking about this nippon life india asset management limited who is the ceo ceo will be sandeep sikka ji and the head office will be or headquarter you can say will be in mumbai maharashtra next 
who was recently appointed as the new chairman and the new chief executive officer of the railway board for the tenure up to december 2022 he will be vijay kumar tripathi appointments committee of the cabinet has approved the appointment of vijay kumar tripathi as the chairman and ceo of the railway board highly important mark this as of now i mean the current position of vijay kumar tripathi is he has been working as the general manager of the north eastern railway gorakhpur uttar pradesh and now he has been appointed in the place of going outgoing chairman and ceo sunit sharma so he will be replacing whom he will be replacing sunit sharma so these are the questions new chairman and chief executive of railway board is vijay kumar tripathi and he will be replacing sunit sharma before this vinay kumar tripathi was working as the general manager of north eastern railway board that is of gorakhpur up next name the indian alpine skier who has become the first indian athlete to qualify for two different events of the winter olympics that are said to be held in beijing india 2022 so indian alpine skier who is he arif mohammad khan jammu and kashmir based first of all the state from which he belongs is jammu and kashmir all right has become the first indian athlete mohammad arif khan became the first indian athlete to qualify for two different events of the winter olympic games that are will or where will these winter olympic games will be held they will be held in beijing china all right and they are supposed to commence from 4th of feb 2022 next in jan 2022 sbi introduced new slabs to charge 20 rupees plus gst on the imps transactions above 2 lakh rupees till 5 lakh rupees what is p stands for in the imps just the full form of imps is being asked here i m p s what does this stands for immediate payment service so it is asked what does p stands for p stands for your payment and another information additional 10 rupees will be charged if the payment is between 2 lakh to 5 lakh rupees next omicron's a who categorized covid-19 variant of concern is represented through which greek alphabet so it is represented by which omicron is represented by omega remember all right highly important where was omicron found for the first time it was detected in south africa all right and which is the organization that does the naming for the variants of this covid-19 it is your who and they are given basically the greek alphabets such as alpha beta gamma omega alpha sigma and all these all right next in january 2022 which ministry has partnered with common service centers that is your csa to undertake india's which number of cultural surveys of india uh, villages called mera gaon mera darohar through a mobile application so remember it was your ministry of culture that has partnered with common service centers ministry of culture has partnered with common center cultures uh, common service centers to undertake india's first cultural survey of villages that has been named as mera gaon mera darohar very important question high chance of being asked in your exam mera gaon mera da, meri darohar this is the first cultural survey of villages question will be indirect that which is the first cultural survey of villages it is your mera gaon meri darohar and it has been launched in collaboration with ministry of culture and common service centers all right so the correct option here becomes option fourth this survey is expected to be completed by mid 2022 all right it will document the cultural identity at village level it will document cultural identity at the village level all right another important thing this will be using mobile application to take the survey that means it is getting digitized the surveys are getting digitized all right 
नेक्स्ट विच स्टेट बिकम द फर्स्ट एल पी जी एनेबल्ड एंड स्मोक फ्री स्टेट ऑफ इंडिया विद द हेल्प ऑफ प्रधानमंत्री उज्ज्वला योजना एंड मुख्यमंत्री गृहिणी सुविधा योजना सो विच स्टेट हिमाचल प्रदेश मार्क दिस हिमाचल प्रदेश हैज बिकम द फर्स्ट एल पी जी दैट इज योर लिक्विफाइड पेट्रोलियम गैस एनेबल्ड एंड स्मोक फ्री इंडियन स्टेट हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन और राइट दिस सक्सेस इज बैक्ड बाय द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट्स प्लान दैट इज प्रधानमंत्री उज्ज्वला योजना अलॉन्ग विद हिमाचल प्रदेश गवर्नमेंट स्कीम दैट वॉज मुख्यमंत्री गृहिणी सुविधा योजना सो दीज टू स्कीम दिस इज ऑफ सेंटर एंड दिस इज ऑफ स्टेट अलॉन्ग विद द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ बोथ दिस स्कीम्स हिमाचल प्रदेश बिकेम द फर्स्ट एल पी जी एनेबल्ड एंड स्मोक फ्री स्टेट ऑफ इंडिया नेक्स्ट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंपनीज रिसेंटली कमीशन द लार्जेस्ट एंड सिंगल साइट सोलर पावर प्रोजेक्ट इन इंडिया विद द कैपेसिटी ऑफ सिक्स हंड्रेड मेगावाट इन बीकानेर राजस्थान रिमेंबर इट वॉज योर अज्यूर पावर ग्लोबल कमीशन दिस कंपनी हैज कमीशन द लार्जेस्ट एंड सिंगल साइड सोलर पावर प्रोजेक्ट इन इंडिया विद द कैपेसिटी ऑफ सिक्स हंड्रेड मेगा वॉट एंड वेयर इज दिस कमीशन इट इज कमीशन इन बीकानेर एंड वेयर इज बीकानेर इट इज इन राजस्थान ऑल राइट दिस कमीशन अ सिक्स हंड्रेड मेगा वॉट इंटरस्टेट ट्रांसमिशन सिस्टम कनेक्टेड सोलर प्रोजेक्ट एलोकेटेड बाय सोलर एनर्जी कॉरपोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया इन बीकानेर राजस्थान दिस इज द लार्जेस्ट सोलर पावर प्रोजेक्ट इन इंडिया ओन्ड एंड ऑपरेटेड एट अ सिंगल लोकेशन बाय एनी डेवलपर इफ वी टॉक अबाउट एजूर पावर ग्लोबल एम डी एंड सी ई ओ हु इज ही रंजीत Gupta ji and where is the headquarter it is in new delhi next which is the world's first company to reach a 3 trillion dollar market capitalization important question which is the company which is the phone that you use or the i'll just give the answer <laughs> it is your apple apple inc incorporation apple incorporation stock market valued raised above Three trillion dollar and became the first company to achieve this milestone. All right, so three trillion dollar market cap was of, or was achieved by Apple company, the company that sells your phones, TV, laptops, and everything. All right, the tablets and everything. Next, name the first women of color who recently made a solo trip to the Earth South Pole. Very important question. We have discussed this in your. daily current affairs also the first women of color who made a solo trip to the earth south pole is harpreet chandi ji all right the indian origin british sikh indian origin british sikh army officer captain remember here she is a captain harpreet chandi became the first women of color to make a solo unsupported trek to the earth south pole captain harpreet chandi is a physiotherapist who is also popularly known as polar preet she is also known by the name polar preet all right she completed her 700 miles solo expedition to the south pole and it was completed in 40 days all right harpreet chandi remember the name next who was recently appointed as the new director general of national mission for clean ganga for national mission for clean ganga who has been appointed as the new director general new dg and he will be succeeding rajiv ranjan mishra ji who who is he he is ashok kumar ashok kumar will be replacing whom he will be replacing rajiv ranjan mishra ji and he g ashok kumar has been appointed to the post of new director general of national mission for clean ganga all right also remember he is also popularly known as the rain man of india he is known as the rain man of india for his excellent work in rain water harvesting system all right and also remember he has also received scotch award for public service scotch award for public service in 2021 it was given to or received by g ashok kumar ji all right 
ऑल्सो रिमेंबर ही इज द एडिशनल सेक्रेटरी अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ जल शक्ति ऑल राइट एडिशनल सेक्रेटरी करंटली इज होल्डिंग द पोस्ट ऑफ एडिशनल सेक्रेटरी अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ जल शक्ति एंड ही हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द न्यू डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ नेशनल मिशन फॉर क्लीन गंगा नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हु वॉज रिसेंटली अपॉइंटेड एज द फर्स्ट वीमेन चेयरमैन एंड मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर ऑफ ओ एन जी सी ऑयल एंड नेचुरल गैस कॉरपोरेशन सो द एच आर डायरेक्टर ऑफ ऑयल एंड नेचुरल गैस कॉरपोरेशन अलका मित्तल वॉज अपॉइंटेड एज द फर्स्ट वीमेन चेयरमैन एंड मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर सो अर्लियर शी वॉज द एच आर डायरेक्टर ऑफ ओ एन जी सी एंड नाउ शी हैज बीन प्रोमोटेड टू द पोस्ट ऑफ चेयरमैन एंड मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर ऑफ ओ एन जी सी अलका मित्तल विल बी सक्सीडिंग होम शी विल बी सक्सीडिंग सुभाष कुमार ऑल राइट सुभाष कुमार रिटायर्ड ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट दिसंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन एंड ही बी रिप्लेस बाय अलका मित्तल शी विल होल्ड द पोजिशन एज द चेयरमैन एंड मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर फॉर सिक्स मंथ्स और अंटिल एनी रेगुलर अपॉइंटमेंट फॉर द पोस्ट इज अनाउंस सो शी इज हैविंग दिस पोस्ट फॉर इन इन टर्म चार्ज नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट फोर्थ वर्ल्ड ब्रेल डे इज एनुअली अक्रॉस ऑब्जर्व अक्रॉस द ग्लोब बाय द यूनाइटेड नेशन ऑन वर्ल्ड ब्रेल डे दैट वॉज द फोर्थ एडिशन ऑफ वर्ल्ड ब्रेल डे वॉज ऑब्जर्व ऑन फोर्थ ऑफ जनवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू ऑल राइट दैट वॉज योर All right, and World Braille Day. This marks the anniversary of whom? This marks the birth anniversary of Louis Braille. Louis Braille is the person who invented Braille. A Braille is a, you can say, a language for the blind people to read. Let me give you see. Six dots are used. They are the dots that are pinned up so that they can read them by moving their hand on these particular dots. So these dots are used. nowadays in almost everything that will help the blind people to guide through that particular process so this 4th january is observed as the world braille day in the memory of the birth anniversary of louis braille who invented the braille system all right also remember we observed world braille day for the first time in Jan- 4th of january 2019 first time it was observed next Which country recently joined the hundred and second member of International Solar Alliance? Who was the hundred and first member? Can you tell me? Hundred and first member. Then tell me hundred and second member. So remember, hundred and first member was your USA, United States of America, and hundred and second member is now Antigua and Barbuda. Antigua and Barbuda became hundred and second member to join International Solar Alliance. And International Solar Alliance, remember, is the framework of which two countries together. It is a joint mission of India and France that was set up in two thousand fifteen. All right, where is the headquarter of this? It is headquarters in Haryana, Gurugram. All right, it is to as the name suggests, solar energy, international solar energy. This is to promote solar energy missions and to so that we can shift to go towards from fossil fuels to the renewable energy resources next which of the following payment banks recently added into the second schedule of rbi act of 1934 to be recognized as scheduled bank so just tell me which bank will be recognized as a scheduled bank now it will be your atel payments bank all right remember Pay, atel payment bank was recently added into the second schedule of the rbi act of 1934 remember this the rbi act of 1934 that will be recognized as the scheduled bank so atel payment bank will be recognized as your scheduled bank now next rbi recently cancelled the certificate of authorization of which of the following payment system operators for regulatory non compliance so tell me remember rbi cancel the certificate authorize that is your certificate of authorization caoa of which of the following payment operator remember eco india financial services and your muthoot vehicle and assist finance their both certificate of authorization was cancelled by which organization it was cancelled by rbi All right, certificate of authorization was cancelled for these two financial services by RBI. All right, 
for these two operators next name the indian cricketer who was recently appointed as the brand endorser of the bank of broda so who was she she is a shefali verma remember indian women's cricketer shefali verma very she 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 shefali verma she is an indian cricketer all right plays for indian women's cricket team and she has been appointed as the brand endorser for bank of baroda highly important mark this all right remember previously in 2021 shefali verma became the first women cricketer to hit three sixes in a test match or in a single over all right it was she was shefali verma do remember this also regarding her moving on next we'll be talking about a book that is mamta beyond 2021 this book has been authored by whom this book has been authored by jayanta ghoshal ji all right it will be published by harper collins india it's said to publish mamta beyond 2021 authored by a political journalist jayanta ghoshal political journalist all right this book is been translated by remember the name arunava sinha all right this book was translated by arunava sinha authored by jayanta ghoshal all right and this book will be published on 24th of jan 2022 next the ministry of science and technology launched the theme of national science day 2022 which of the following is the theme of national science day so the theme of the national science day is integrated approach in science and technology for sustainable future highly important all right integrated approach in science and technology for sustainable future is the theme for the national science day for the year 2022 if we are talking about the department of science remember secretary is dr shrivari chandrashekar and the headquarter is in new delhi all right who is the secretary shrivari chandrashekar ji next which state topped the list of the highest number of open defecation free plus villages under the swachh bharat mission phase 2 program till 31st of december 2021 so remember it was your telangana state that has topped the list of the highest number of open defecation free plus villages under the swachh bharat missions program phase 2 until 31st december 2022 all right around remember 13737 villages out of 40 14200 villages in telangana are odf what is odf open defecation free all right and if we calculate this this comes up around 96.74% of the data that is open defecation free next dash become the first telecom company to launch a upi auto pay facility for both prepaid and postpaid service subscribers in collaboration with npci that is your national payment corporation of india so remember reliance jio has became the first telecom company to launch a upi auto pay facility for both prepaid as well as postpaid subscribers in collaboration with npci if we are talking about npci who is the ceo and md of npci he is dilip sb it was established in 2008 and the headquarter is located in mumbai maharashtra next name the company that recently launched a campaign called hashtag bahane chodo tax bachao to provide awareness about health insurance to tax or to save tax so remember this hashtag bahane chodo tax bachao campaign was launched by sbi general insurance so it was launched by sbi general insurance and the name of the campaign is hashtag bahane chodo tax bachao then if we are talking about sbi general insurance md and ceo is prakash chandra kanpal ji and the headquarters is located in mumbai maharashtra so sbi general insurance is the company that recently started the campaign hashtag bahane chodo tax bachao <coughs> which company recently launched a mega bond sale and claimed it to be the largest ever foreign currency bond insurance issuance from india i repeat which company recently launched a mega bond sale and claimed it to be the largest ever foreign currency bond issuance from india it was launched by 
Reliance Industries. All right, Reliance Industries launched a mega bond sale and described it and desired it to raise three to five billion U.S. dollars from offshore investors. The sale is claimed as the largest ever foreign currency bond issuance from India, and in twenty twenty seconds, first fundraising by an Indian. company if we talk about the bonds the reliance industries has raised around 4 billion us dollar by issuing us dollar bonds in three tranches of 10 years 30 years and 40 years of time period the bond have been priced at 120 basic point that is your 120 bps and 170 bps over the respective us treasuries benchmark so the current organization is your reliance industries that launched the mega bond sale and claimed it to be the largest ever foreign exchange currency bond issuance from india next which city hosted the 3 day kashi film festival 2021 it was hosted by varanasi uttar pradesh all right this was a 3 day long kashi festival kashi film festival hosted by varanasi uttar pradesh all right and remember this was organized under divya kashi campaign under this campaign this kashi film festival was observed in varanasi uttar pradesh next where is gandhi sagar dam located gandhi sagar dam is located in madhya pradesh highly important market all right and it is located on which river if i ask you it is located on chambal river gandhi sagar dam is located on chambal river and it is located in which state it is located in madhya pradesh next which of the following csirs organization that is india's first open rock museum was recently inaugurated by the ministry of science and technology so kis organize in which organization this first open rock museum was inaugurated by the ministry of science and technology so remember it is your ngri it is a part of asking what which part of csir as we saw the part of nio that's national oceanography it is located in where national institute of oceanography we just saw this question where it is located it was the second third or fourth question as suppose it is in goa so now it is asking what is the other part of csir that hosted or that inaugurated india's first open rock museum there and that was inaugurated by the ministry of science and technology so remember it is your which unit which organization of csir it is your national geophysical research institute all right inaugurated india's first open rock museum at the campus of csir ngri so at the campus of the csir ngri the ministry of science and technology inaugurated first india's first open rock museum all right and where is this headquarter located in which state it is located in telangana all right in in telangana where it in hyderabad open rock museum india's first open rock museum where at csir ng ri and where is this located it is in telangana hyderabad next also remember here one more thing dr jitendra singh has released earthquake risk maps in this csir ng ri institute earthquake risk maps were also released next which country recently signed an agreement with india to redevelop the strategic triangomly oil tank complex i repeat which country signed an agreement with india to redevelop strategic triangomly oil tank complex it was with which country sri lanka has signed this agreement with india to launch this or to jointly redevelop the strategic world war 2 era trincomly oil tank complex this is also known as trinco oil tank farm all right and this is a world war 2 era trincomly oil tank complex in sri lanka's eastern port of district of 
ट्री कॉमली फॉर अ लीज फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ फिफ्टी ईयर्स एंड दे विल बी प्रोवाइडिंग अ लीड फॉर फिफ्टी ईयर्स वेयर दिस टैंक विल बी बिल्ट दिस विल बी बिल्ट इन श्रीलंका ओनली एंड इन श्रीलंका इट विल बी बिल्ट इन द लोकेशन नोन एज त्रिन कॉमली द लोकेशन इज ऑल्सो थ्री कॉमली ऑल राइट एज द नेम सजेस्ट सो दिस थ्री कॉमली ऑल टैंक कॉम्प्लेक्स विल बी डेवलप्ड इन श्रीलंका एंड विच कंट्रीज हैज साइंड इट श्रीलंका अलॉन्ग विद इंडिया ऑल राइट एंड इट विल बी गिविंग इट टू द लीज फॉर अ टाइम पीरियड ऑफ फिफ्टी ईयर्स रिमेंबर करंटली एटी फाइव टैंक्स आउट ऑफ नाइनटी नाइन टैंक्स ड्यूरिंग द वर्ल्ड वॉर टू एज अ रीफ्यूलिंग स्टेशन विद नाइनटी नाइन स्टोरेज टैंक्स इज रिमेंबर नाउ these 85 tanks out of the 99 tanks are under sri lankan control which was previously under the control of india all right so out of 99 now 85 tanks are in control of sri lanka which were previously control of india so coming back this agreement is signed between sri lanka and india to develop a three strategic three comely oil tank complex in the sri lankan district of three comely next which of the following countries has not participated in the multilateral anti submarine warfare exercise called sea dragon 2022 that was held in guam in the western pacific so remember russia did not participate in the multilateral anti marine anti submarine warfare exercise called sea dragon 2022 that took part in western pacific all right so russia did not take part usa seven usa navy's seventh fleet announced the beginning of this multilateral anti marine submarine warfare that is also known as anti marine submarine warfare all right so this anti submarine warfare exercise known as sea dragon 2022 was conducted in the western pacific first thing location was your western pacific the six nations that are participating in this exercise you should know are usa australia canada india japan and south korea they are all taking part in this particular exercise that is sea dragon 2022 the location where this is taking part is guam in the western pacific and the us navy seventh fleet announced the beginning of this multilateral anti submarine warfare exercise that is named as sea dragon 2022 next and one more thing question can be asked which country is leading this as i told you it was announced by or led by united states of america In January 2022, Dash was appointed as the new Secretary General of the Shanghai Corporation Organization for a term of how many years? So, Zhang Ming, Zhang Ming has been appointed as the new Secretary General of Shanghai Corporation Organization, that is your SEO, for a term of three years. Mark this. All right, and he will be replacing whom? He will be replacing Vladimir Norov. All right, Vladimir Norov, who completed his term on thirty first of December twenty twenty one, and he is from Uzbekistan. And now, Zhang Ming, Zhang Ming has succeeded. Remember, Zhang Ming is a Chinese diplomat who will be taking as to the post of new Secretary General of SEO and for a term of three years. Next, the Chinese artificial sun named East. recently set a new world record for a continuous high temperature plasma operation for how many seconds for 1056 seconds at a 70 million degree celsius that is told to be around 10 times the temperature of sun all right and it has set a world record and the name of this experiment is east that is experimental advanced superconducting tokamak tokamak all right also known as this east is also known as the artificial sun of china so the correct option here becomes option 5 1056 seconds and for what temperature at 70 million degree celsius next copal toy cluster by ecus group will be operational in india from march 2022 
हु इज द करंट चेयरमैन ऑफ एकस ग्रुप सो द करंट चेयरमैन ऑफ एकस ग्रुप इज अरविंद मेलेग्री नेक्स्ट ए एल एम ए स्टैंड फॉर डैश लार्ज मिलीमीटर सब मिलीमीटर आई रे सो फुल फॉर्म इज आस्ट हेयर ए एल एम ए रिमेंबर एटा कामा लार्ज मिलीमीटर सब मिलीमीटर एरे दिस इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ आटा कामा और आलमा नोट जस्ट रिमेंबर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दिस अलमा हैव ऑब्जर्व फिफ्टीन स्टेलर सिस्टम विच आर मोस्ट लाइकली एक्सपीरियंसिंग कॉमन एवलप एवोल्यूशन फेज और हैव एक्सपीरियंस इन द लास्ट टू हंड्रेड ईयर्स एलमा इन्वेस्टिगेट्स नेचर ऑफ वॉटर फाउंडेशन स्टेलर सिस्टम रिमेंबर इट इज जस्ट फॉर फाउंडिंग स्पेस ऑब्जेक्ट्स और स्टेलर ऑब्जेक्ट्स सो एट कामा वॉट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ हेयर दिस ए स्टैंड फॉर एट अ कामा ए नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज वेयर इज द वुल्फ वॉलकैनो लोकेटेड वुल्फ ले वॉलकैनो इज लोकेटेड इन इक्वाडोर ऑल राइट वुल्फ वॉलकैनो दिस ऑल्सो नोन एज माउंट वीटन इज द हाइएस्ट पीक इन द इक्वाडोर ऑल राइट ऑल्सो द हाइएस्ट पीक इन इक्वाडोर ऑल राइट एंड दिस वुल्फ वॉलकैनो वॉज रिसेंटली इरप्टेड in january 2020 to remember this wolf volcano was recently erupted where in ecuador so friends this was our video i hope you enjoyed the video if you want such sessions more all you have to do is subscribe to our channel and like our video and do comment how you feel about this video a good news to all our viewers recently we have launched an course that is ibps po exam course This is a 25 day free course to crack IBPS PO mains exams. This course duration will be from 13th of December to 14th of January. This course will be help you to boost your preparation. This course could be attempted any number of time with no day limit. In this course will be providing you information related to your admit card details, previous year cutoffs, notification related to such exam and many other detail. apart from this you can see here we are covering the whole syllabus here like data analysis on d3 then you are getting quiz of 20 questions with such questions that you can prepare that will help you or they are the expected questions they will be coming in the exams so these questions are very helpful these 20 questions you will be getting on daily basis and they will help you to boost your preparation so go fast and subscribe to this course तो फ्रेंड्स ये थी हमारी वीडियो अगर आपको आज हमारी वीडियो से कुछ ना कुछ सीखने को मिला है तो जल्दी से जाइए और हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर दें और इस वीडियो को लाइक कर दें और फ्रेंड्स अगर आपको हमारे कंटेंट से रिलेटेड या फिर हमारे कोई ऐप से इशू आ रहा है कोई भी आप आपको प्रॉब्लम है तो आप हमारी जी मेल जो कि है सपोर्ट एट या फिर हमारा नंबर नाइन पर कॉन्टैक्ट कर सकते हैं एंड हमारी टीम जल्दी से जल्दी आपके इशू को रिसॉल्व करने में आपकी सहायता करेगी सो टेक केयर